What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today is another episode of One Question. Woo wee! We need like a one question intro, don't we? I know. We need like a do 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 one question with James and Kimmy. Do, do, do. So before we start the video, make sure you click that subscribe button down below if you haven't to join the Jammy Squad. <laughs> and make sure that notification bell is ticked. So you get notification whenever we post new videos. See, my Kenya came out, I meant notifications, not notification. Notification. <laughs> For those of you who don't know how one question works, the most popular question down below, voted for by you guys in the comments, gets answered next week. Make it a sense? Make it a lot of sense. Oh. So the most popular question voted for by you guys last week was from Butter14621. And her question was, how did you know that he or she was the one? Ooh. Great question. Should I go No, first? no, I'll go first. I'll, I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay, okay, go first then. The way I knew that Kimmy was the one, it was probably like about two, three weeks after we'd been together, I knew that she was the perfect girl for me. Like I was willing to drive all the way to her house, which was like two hours, then wait like another two hours for her to get ready just to go on a date with her. And I think that all stemmed from our conversations we was having before we met. Mm -hmm. I think we got to know each other so well before we met and just having like conversation, open communication with each other. And it was like, it wasn't forced. Yeah. It was just like conversation that was, deeper so you knew the real person does that make sense yeah it's like a conversation with no expectations yeah so then it was like i knew that she was the perfect one but i was just like she lives so far away how's it gonna work but it was just from the conversations we had that i knew she was the one and then it was like after two weeks of dating i was like yeah i'm quite happy to drive the two hours there two hours back two hours there two hours back every day that's so sweet Firstly, let me just say, keep them waiting. It shows you how patient a man is. It shows you how serious they are, I think. Yeah, how I serious they are and how, how patient they are. they are. I knew you were the one pretty early on, like maybe earlier than that, simply because from our conversations, which had no expectations at all, it was stuff that I spoke to you about. You know, like I used to post up quotes because I'm very into my spirituality, being positive, positive vibes, all of that. We're all spiritual beings, that kind of thing. So when I used to post up really positive quotes that no one kind of got it's one of those posts where you kind of click next to yeah he replied from nowhere and then you said something back and i was like <gasps> his reply just sounded like something i would say myself and i've never had that where you've got that connection with someone and you kind of understand each other on a spiritual level not just a casual level because mm. you have conversations with people but i've never had a conversation with someone that it's a conversation that drives you in a way yeah. and you feel like this is someone who would completely like bring out the best me out yeah. of me do you know what i mean yeah. like it was weird but i felt that straight away to the point my sister thought oh maybe you're being catfish no guy can like be the exact same as you because she knows what i'm like but that's something that we both thought that each other was like yeah we we were like, like, oh, how really is this? Because yeah. like, we, we are. We are so, so similar. similar. But it was just like everything you said, all the conversations that were so deep and meaningful from the beginning, I felt like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. he is the one. It's all about frequencies and energies yeah. and our frequency and energy match and it was just yeah. a hit and, from there. Yeah, That's what I said. Like I knew straight away she was the one. I was at the point where I was like, oh, she lives so far away. In real sense, she doesn't live that far away. And it was like, what do I do? And I was just like, do you know what? She's worth it. I'm going to go for it and give yeah. it anything. No, I was going to say, from the beginning, we were, uh, look at me getting emotional. It's almost making me want to cry. No, oh, <laughs> From like the beginning, yeah, when we were talking, it felt like before we even started dating, yeah, you get that vibe, like, oh my gosh, this is my potential soulmate. I need to stop crying, hold on. Ooh. Don't cry, Kimmy, oh, not today. Hey. Yeah, so I remember that time where we weren't quite dating, we didn't know where we were. It was one of those where I think you're such an amazing person that I even said to my sister, if you didn't want to take things further, mm. I'd still want to be like your friend, I'd mm. still want to be like yeah. best friends with you and keep yeah. you in my life. It was that deep, guys. Come here. That's how I knew it was the word. No. I didn't think this was gonna get emotional. I came here with banter. I was cracking up. I was like, woo! Left in tears. So there it is guys, we hope you all enjoyed this week's one question. You managed to make Kimmy cry on one question. Let me get my funny vibe back. Okay. Okay, I'm good. <laughs>
Okay guys, so that was the end of the video. We hope you all enjoyed this week's one question. If you'd like your question answered, make sure you drop it below and get liking, get comment on each other's questions, and hopefully your question will be answered next week. Mm -hmm. That's it. Can I have my bogey out today? Guys, you know what time it is. It is time, time to, to bogey out. out. Let's the go. Time to the sink. Woo, 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 woo. And, and cut it. it.